We first introduced you to Shalanda Lawson and Deanna Blizzard in July of last year. The duo was the first to be teamed up in Sussex County as a part of the Best Buddies Delaware Citizens Program, an organization that helps those with an intellectual disability find friendship. Since that time, Shalanda has really come out of her shell. Last year, she was a little bit too shy to talk on camera, but boy, has that changed. Yeah, I feel a lot different now that I'm talking to you. Shalanda isn't the only one who has grown since we last spoke. Her buddy Deanna says she has also learned a thing or two. Oh, it's been wonderful for me and for, and for my whole family, actually. Um, the one thing that I can tell you that Shalanda's taught me is patience. I have learned to just slow down. Wow, it sounds like an awesome program, and I'm sure Deanna can attest that volunteering with them gives you a whole new level of appreciation. Now, if you think you'd like to get involved with the organization and want to see how to go about signing up, Sean Stryker has you covered. In today's Day in the Life, Sean spends some time with Best Buddies Delaware and comes away with a new friend. Never underestimate the power of a good friend. There's someone to hang out with, have fun with, someone to call when times get tough or when things are going great. But not everyone has an easy time making friends. It can be particularly hard for those with an intellectual disability living in Sussex County. Be people in Sussex with disabilities are a little more isolated. There's probably more people than you would realize. There's hundreds of people living in our community, adults, who are lonely because of you know where they live and because of their disabilities. Fortunately, there's an organization that can help. Best Buddies Delaware is a nonprofit organization that helps people um, with intellectual and developmental disabilities find social opportunities. Okay, so you have some experience with Best Buddies. Yeah. Best Buddies Delaware has programs for people of all ages. Ann Carwath is in charge of their Citizens Program, which is geared towards adults. So I um, help facilitate all the people who apply for the program, people with disabilities and people without, and um, I determine based on where they live, what their hobbies are, what their interests are. Um, we usually match the same gender. Um, try to get within an age range of like five to ten years and match them up with common interests and, and um, they become a buddy pair. The problem is they are in need of participants in southern Sussex County. So I volunteered to be a part of Best Buddies for the day to see what it's all about. The first step would be to fill out our application and after you apply I would set up um, a home visit which um, I would visit with you and find out more about you and that way I can get the information needed to make the match. And then also the background check takes place as well. And then after that, um, you're in the system and I look for a suitable match. My match was Jonathan Scott. Hey, Ann, how's it going? Hi, great. Good to see you again. Nice to see you as well. This must be Jonathan. This is Hey, Jonathan, Jonathan I'm Sean. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, so Ann told me you like to do a lot of fun things, a lot of fun things outside. So what do you say we play mini golf? OK. All right, so we're going to go. Hey, have a great time. You will. OK. All right, are you good at mini golf? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you think you're going to beat me? Oh, I know I am. You know you are. There's no chance. All right, let's see. All right, here we go. I'm going to get a hole in one. Yeah, all right. For the record, I didn't get a hole in one. But like two friends competing in anything, we had fun, talked a little trash, and eventually ended in a tie. Now, you don't have to play games with your buddy. Ann recommends low to no cost activities. So next, Jonathan and I went to the library for some Wi-Fi. What do you like to do on your tablet? Go on YouTube. What kind of videos do you watch? All different kinds. You like funny videos? I love funny YouTube videos. And then you also, uh, I know you like to go on Facebook on this too. Yeah. There are a few requirements set by Best Buddies Delaware. You must be in contact at least once a week and you have to get together for a couple hours a month. But remember, this can be doing anything, even something as simple as grabbing a bite to eat. I'm starving. Yeah, me too. Can't wait to eat this pizza. Yeah. Got a little music while we talk. A little music while we eat? Yeah. That's nice. And as Jonathan and I sat eating one of our favorite foods, I realized that he wasn't the only one getting something out of this newly born friendship. 
So does that sound like something you'd like to do? If so, you can visit our website, WBOC.com, click on our picture for more information on how you can sign up. <laughs> that great? Like fun. Look like fun. Now, Best Buddies isn't the only organization doing a lot for those with intellectual disabilities. Special Olympics Delaware also helps its athletes find camaraderie while letting them compete in 20 different sports. Yeah, coming up in February, you can help them raise money by taking a dip in the frigid Atlantic Ocean in the 25th annual Lewis Polar Bear Plunge. Last year, the plunge attracted 3,325 bears and raised more than $780,000. That brought the 24-year total to more than $8.3 million. Wow. Now, this year, the plunge will be held February 7th, which is a Sunday, but the fun goes all weekend. It features ice sculpting, a 5K run, and a chili contest. This year, they're hoping for 3,700 bears, which is one for every athlete they serve. And, of course, we'll be sending Sean out there to preview the event. And, yes, we will be making him jump in the water. Yes, we will. Cold water. But man, what a great <laughs> cause. So, could being out in frigid temperatures actually make you sick? Up next on Dumb Marble Life, we're going to get the lowdown on whether cold weather can actually cause illness and what's behind those sniffles after you come back inside. And later, you probably have the heat kicking in high gear right now, but <laughs> along with keeping you and your family warm, you also have to keep them safe. We share a story of survival and what equipment you can use to detect problems with your heat source. Del Marva Life, we'll be right back.